and back on back, back on the track, back on track. Well, well technically, he's back. Not me, but it's the song. Let's just get to the video. Let's just let's just get to the video you're here for. Alrighty guys, well welcome back to my video. This is me, man, you know who I am. I am Mandy, and yes. So I'm coming at you today with some most exciting news. And what is that you may wonder? My favorite singer ever, Mega Energy Man, or Thomas Marin, is releasing new music. But not just new music, he is releasing new Super Eurobeat music. Cause I am back, I'm back, I'm back Mega Energy Man is back So he's back! Like, in the song, I'm back, but he's back I'm back on the video, but he's back on track And he is actually releasing a new song called Welcome to the Universe in the next week It's like a little internet surprise Okay guys, there's gonna be no lies in this video. This is basically me ranting and raving about my favorite singer ever for the longest time. So the fangirling levels will probably be over 9,000. Cue the outdated memes. It's over 9,000! But wait guys, before you leave, there's more. Which is why you're probably here. Clickbait. Shut up and listen! So when Thomas hopped back onto social media, onto an online presence, guess who just jumped right on the bandwagon? I'm just obnoxious at the end of the day. Upon messaging him and kind of going back and forth a few times, he actually volunteered to record a video. Now these questions are questions that I've wondered, or that I was structuring around a video. It's kind of morphed if you will, into more of an interview slash other topic video to be discussed. So I'm pretty sure this, uh, this interview, this portion, is pretty much what you came here for today. Because otherwise, it's just me ranting and raving about music. So before we get this video underway, guys, obviously, you know what? If you like my content, if you like Eurobeat, if you like to be entertained, I hope you like to be entertained, I hope most people like to be entertained, there's a subscribe button down here somewhere. I would suggest you click that. Yeah. By the time this video is over, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up because you know you need to keep feeding my already excessive ego. Write a comment below on stuff. With my affluency in the English language, I don't know how I come up with using stuff and things as much as I do. So a lot of these questions, I feel like were stemmed from stuff I asked a long time ago, over a decade ago. Yeah. While sending these questions, I initially had a different direction for this video. Specific things I wanted to find out. And this video, like I said, was initially going to go in a different direction. A lot of these questions have to do specifically with Thomas's involvement in production or songwriting with A Beat C and Go Go's music over the years. So at this point, I'm going to start inserting footage that Thomas, or Mega Energy Man, and his management sent me, answering my questions and my overlay of commentary because God knows I have no ability to shut up. Shut up and listen! Let's get to that. How are you today? Well, I'm really fine. I just went out for um, cinema with my son and right now I'm composing some new stuff. So, we got some questions from a very big fan and uh, I would like to ask you some of them. So, the first question is, how did you first get involved with participating in producing tracks at ABC? Well, that was a very funny story. I just got a call from Karen from London and uh, she said, Thomas, do you want to make easy money? And I said, yeah, why not? And so I sent a record, a tape, a demo, first of all, 
and uh, Giancarlo Pasquini, Dave Rogers, he invited me to go to Mantova, and the rest is hint history. So I already knew that Thomas and Karen had been friends, and that Karen was the one that brought him in to ABC, got him in initially for that audition and everything, but I really enjoyed the easy money. <laughs> Following that question, once working with Alessandra and Sandro, did the process differ with Gogo's music? Well, the process was going further on with Alessandro, uh, with uh, Sandro and Alessandra, because we are we became very very good friends. And it seems that obviously the friendship that he had with Alessandra or Domino, and with Sandro, was definitely more established. What went into your first song with production credits at ABC Transmission? I don't remember that at all. Alright. I love that he doesn't remember, it makes me so happy. What Mega Energy Man tracks do you feel best define your presence in Eurobeat? Well, my one of the favorite songs that I really really like is Express Love and also one of the my favorite is 70s and also one of the biggest hit that I ever had for my life in me is my first song that I record for Dave Rogers which called which is called Megaton Man and this one is a real good song. Express Love! <clears throat> so clearly I like that uh, he references Express Love as one of his signature Eurobeat tracks. Obviously 70s is a great old classic. And Make a Ten Man was the first song he did with ABC, so... Next question. Do you have a favorite Super Eurobeat album? Oh, well, not really, but uh, I think uh, all these kinds of para para Maharaja nights, uh, they are very, clo very close to that what I really like. Likes the crazy music. How did you and Davide Di Marcantonio end up working together on a few songs? Well, that was, that was a really funny story. I just met him because Sandro was introducing me to this guy, very very good guy, Mark, uh, Davide Di Marcantonio, and I'm gonna do some new songs in the next future also with him and I'm gonna fly to Thailand where he's living now and I'm gonna record some songs over there. Okay. What was that? He's making more music with David Di Marcantonio? <gasps> For the record, I love I Want It All. I love it. I Want It All. Great track. A great song. Fantastic song. Yes! And he was introduced to David by Sandra. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you wish you would have done differently during a recording? A memory that sticks out? Well, I would like to do some ballads for the Japanese market, but the ballads are not very, very, very requested in the Japanese market, so I just sing you now one song, which is just for you, Mandy. Do you ever see the sun right in your eyes? Do you ever feel the sunlight in your heart? Just go on. Next part I'm gonna show you in the next interview. Okay, this answer, I can't say it surprised me as much as I thought it would. I was expecting a funnier story, but the wanting to write ballads for the Japanese market, that threw me a little bit, but I can't say it threw me as much as other answers I've heard from other people regarding other things. That was an incredibly vague sentence, but maybe one day we'll get there. Quality contents, served weekly. You know, considering that he actually got his start with a Talo Disco, with Nobody Loves Me, or Missing You is the, the B-side of the record as well, it doesn't surprise me, actually, that he's more interested in writing ballads. It's just saying. 
gonna love me just get a song you know i'm really about the campiest person i can think of in my own life but seriously i got my own song part two coming what should we the Eurobeat fans expect from your new material, uh, material coming out in two weeks. What do you want to share? Well, I want to share some good new, really new ideas, which uh, the Sandro is producing now the new record. And we're gonna go real crazy also about the sounds. The sounds are very go gonna, gonna go a lot harder, a lot more guitars in it, a little bit more rocky. Okay. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. He's doing this with Sandro Oliva. Sandro Oliva is like the Italo disco Eurobeat sound my ears love. Like I hear Sandro Oliva and I hear synthesizers that make me so happy. A little bit more mega energy man. <laughs> so cute. So happy. More. Ow. More guitars, harder guitars, hopefully like can rock me. Of the following tracks, which is your favorite and why? Back to the 80s, into the music, red light and sex, into the night, rock me. Well, I would say my favorite of that one is uh, back to the 80s because it's real, I mean, it's real, real true. I sang that song on the studio to uh, Marc Antonio um, and I had my little daughter Emily on my arms in the studio and I was holding her here <laughs> and she was always going, Daddy, when are we finished? And we recorded all, all the music, all her voices and it sounded so perfect to me and this song is one of my favorite songs. Get me back to 80s. I got love forever. Okay, so this last question. These five specific songs that his manager is asking him is because of my video idea. So the fact that he says back to 80s, which is a song that also features Domino and was produced by Sandro, Domino, and Mega Energy Man, makes me so happy because one, I really love this song. So he even acknowledges kind of in his response suggesting it's not typical Mega Energy Man song, but it's this really great ballad and it has memories that are super close to him. And I really love that because this song is seriously one of my favorites by him. And a lot of people when it came out were crazy about it. They said it lacked energy. They said it lacked power and that typical flavor that they had come to expect from a Mega Energy Man song. And for me, it was the exact opposite. I agree, it's not pretty standard, but that's fine. We already established earlier in this, he wanted to write more ballads for the Japanese market. And then on top of that, it takes kind of a more sentimental turn with the actual lyrics and story in the song. And then on top of that, it takes more of a family-based memory for him, and I, I just like it. Now for me, it has a special memory in particular because when I actually first got in contact with Thomas a long time ago. He actually sent me this song before it hit a CD, right after it finished being produced by Sandro, Domino, and him. So it has a really special place that's near and dear to my little heart as well in that regard. They sang a song for me. There's a reason I'm not a singer. There's a reason for that. I'll have all of Thomas's social media handles linked down below. So if you want to go follow Mega Energy Man on Instagram or on Facebook, it's all down below for you to check out. And I highly recommend you do. Because as I'm recording it, his song, Welcome to the Universe, is supposed to be released in the next week. As I already touched on, with Sandro and Thomas both involved on this new Eurobeat track and the tracks he's looking at in general releasing. I am psyched. I am energized puns. We need to start doing the thing that you're probably not here for, which was the initial concept of this video, but I got better. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this commentary fairly short because the essence of this video 
was Mega Energy Man, not me ranting. So those five tracks you heard listed in the last question were an impromptu question by me regarding five songs where he had credits for writing in them. And they're songs that I personally really love that over the years I've really become attached to. I'd like to touch on all of them quickly now that we're at the end of this video so that you will go down below to where these songs are listed and you will listen to them and you will develop a new appreciation for them because some of them people don't talk about much and I think they should be. Track number one, Back to 80s from Super Eurobeat Volume 185. This one featured Domino. I love it. This song, as I already told you, it has so many sentimental feelings for me. Obviously it does for him as well. This is a great track. I really love the production. I really love Domino's backup vocals on this. She deserves to have that featured note on this track. It is just so well made. And yes, you can argue without a doubt, this is not a standard Mega Energy Man song. It's not. But it is such a nice song. It's just so fun. And the ending in the extended mix. Guys, the ending of this song in the extended mix is perfect climactic Eurobeat. It's just, it's a great song. Next up, let's discuss what I will call a typical Mega Energy Man track, Red Light and Sex. You guys, I love this song. This is from Super Eurobeat Volume 179. It did have a few other appearances, including a Before the Beat remix. I always forget how to say that. You guys, this is a really fun song, and this is such a great representation of Sandro's Go-Go's music. Oh my god, this is such a catchy song. How does this not appear more on Super Eurobeat? How does this not appear more on Super Eurobeat? It did get some attention the first year it was out. It didn't get anything past that. I am puzzled. My brain is just it, it doesn't get it. My, my brain's confused. Red Light and Sex from Super Eurobeat Volume 179. In general, it's a great CD. Next up, we have Rock Me from Super Eurobeat Volume 175. This is another Go-Go's track. This is such a great Eurobeat guitar song. And yes, it's because it's Kiko Loreiro. Why does it not appear? This song was so well made, so well produced. It is just, just go. The link's down below. That's it. Into the Night by Mega Energy Man from Super Eurobeat Volume 164. This is a song that I have a bit more understanding toward why people don't listen to it as much. This is definitely not your standard fare Mega Energy Man song. It's more along the thematic element of back to 80s. It's a bit more sentimental. Like he said, he wanted to do more ballads. You know, I really loved Into the Night. The first time I heard it on the CD when I bought it, I was psyched for this song. And I still listen to it frequently. It is a great, solid track. But if you want to listen to a typical Mega Energy Man song, yeah, I guess this doesn't quite fit into that bracket. I know Phil loves this song in particular. Now, another song I want to discuss because we're going into things. In his uh, Mega Energy Man music career, he goes into three things. He goes into music, he goes into fire, he goes into the night. In this case, we're talking about into the music. It came out in 1997 on the CD. That's the only appearance it ever made. It is a fairly heavy sounding song. I don't know how better to describe it. His voice takes over the whole song. It's not typical style for him. It's backed up by Dave Rogers. The synthesizers, just the sound of this song, are the sound of this song. Beautiful. The synthesizers in this song are super heavy. <laughs> just practice English by saying that multiple times. That's terrible. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard this track, I was just drawn to it. I honestly don't know why. It's a pretty standard Eurobeat song from 1997. There's just something so perfect about this song that just works with my ears that I just I love so much and I love the tone that he's using as he sings that into the music I can't do it <laughs> sounding like a man not a talent I possess now you guys I could talk about a couple of other songs as well I don't know how I forgot this song when I sent this email to him but Rebel Rebel is fan 
fantastic. This is an older song from Maharaja, the Maharaja Night High Energy Revolution series as well. It's a great song. There's Over the Line from Euromach. But I was trying to keep my list at five. Ugh, I don't know. And then of course Transmission has that sentimentality to me. As I already said guys, these songs will be all linked down below for you to check out if you're so inclined. I strongly recommend you do and I strongly recommend you go follow for more Eurobeat music because I know there's more stuff coming down the pipes guys and my little heart is quite content and quite happy right now with how Eurobeat will hopefully continue as the next year goes on. Hi Mandy, this interview is specially just for you and um, thank you very very much for interviewing me and uh, I hope you got the likes that you ever need. So that concludes this video all about Mega Energy Man being back. Cause he's back, he's back, he's back. It doesn't work the same way as saying I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It really doesn't flow this same. No. Throw your comments down below what you might like to know or what you might like to see of Mega Energy Man in the future with his ongoing Eurobeat project. And I'll catch you in the next video, won't I guys? Until then, stay classy. And as Eurobeat artists always say, listen to Eurobeat. Hi everybody out there in Japan and all over the world. Thank you very much for listening uh, Mega Energy Man and the interview. And I think you have now some good information and stay tuned for my new record which is called Welcome to the Universe. This is not an express love. This is not an express plane. This is me calling for you, calling out for love.